Hi, I'm Big Scott Radio from Radio Cardiff. I also do other stuff as well. In this little tutorial, I'm going to show you how to upload and edit tracks to Myriad and then use them on a show, setting markers in, markers out, checking the labeling and storing them in the right database. I'm with Dan today, who's one of my guinea pig trainees. So we're going to talk you through the whole process. So the first thing we need to do is make sure that we've got our device going into the system, whether it be a USB stick, a CD or a hard drive. Once we've got it into the hard drive, we need to locate the, the source. So what we do is we move to the more jumps button, we go to the personal jumps and then we scroll along and we look for Big Scott. Um, and you'll see it on there because it's got a little star on it. We click on Big Scott, that'll show me if you like, my storage cabinet, my online storage cabinet, where I can put all my music, my jingles, etc. My jingles are always in yellow. My dub plates are always in green. My tracks are always in grey. When I've done a recording, once it's done and it's edited, it is in red. Basically, don't touch and we leave that for a week until we come and follow me because what I do is I record the show, take it home put it on Mixcloud and edit it and everything. But things can go wrong from leaving the studio to get into the house. So always leave it in red until the following week. Once it's up and online and it's stored in my database, I'll then remove it and clear the slot ready for this week's show. So then what we need to do now is go to each individual track. We right click on the track. We go down to edit audio and track information. As soon as the window pops up and the track comes in you'll see it loading up check the artist names right the track names right and then move across to the play pad on the right hand side so you'll have a play button a pause button a stop um, and track backwards to begin of the track or end of track and then there's um, two little magnifying glasses plus and minus which we use to zoom into the track in order to remove and edit any white noise at the beginning or the end of the track once you've got the track playing hover over the intro end button. You don't need to worry about the intro start because that is automatically set at the beginning of the track. So what you're doing now is you're waiting for the first lyrics or the words from the artist. So that's what the intro is, it's just the, the, the music that plays in between. So what you want to try and do is set your in marker to the breath just before the first vocals or the first speaking. Once you set that, click towards the end of the track press play and now we're waiting for either the last moment they stop talking and it's just music playing or we're waiting for the last beat and then we're setting that marker and these markers help the computer load up the next track when we talk about later on in the, the program when we talk about in the studio and we're setting up a, a play pad so once everything's edited move up check the artist details again check check the track details again click save it will take a few seconds for it to just scan and do all the details. Once that's done, up to the top right hand corner, click the red X, it takes you back to the window where the track was. And in there, on the right hand side, there should be the little speaker note and a green tick. That is how you edit a basic track to be used on the Myriad system.